I'm getting some gas right now at the gas station and I just said let me do this quick live y'all know I don't do lives often I still don't really like doing them often but I, I definitely wanted to address something definitely wanted to address something okay and as I put in there in the uh, title mindsets mindsets so it's what it's probably like three was it three Huh? Uh, 316. Okay, so it's like 316. Okay, so, you know, people are probably, you know, still at work, getting off work, picking children up from school. But I just definitely wanted to get on and say this. Um, I have just been seeing a lot. Um, I've learned a lot in 2019. 2019 has taught me so much. Um, I thought I knew a lot. I thought I had learned a lot previously in 2018, and I did. But when I tell you that 2019 has taught me so many life lessons, uh, so many business lessons, so many ministry lessons, um, and I wouldn't change a thing. I needed to know and learn and understand everything that I did. I needed to go through it. It had to happen. What I want to say to you is that mindset is key. Okay? Mindset. All right? A lot of people are asking God to do certain things. They want certain things, um, wondering why they are not receiving certain things. Um, even mad, envious, or jealous of other people who are being blessed, you know, who are living their best lives, who are doing ministry well, whatever it is. And what I want to say to you is this. You have got to have your mind in the right place before you can even begin to ask God for certain things. Your mindset has to already be where you're asking God to take you, what you're asking God to grant you, bless you with. If your mindset is messed up, you will mess up that better, that new, that next. That's a relationship. That's a marriage. That's a, a, uh, a covenant. That's, that, that goes across the board with anything. That, go, that goes across the board. Your mindset if your mindset is that you are always a victim, you will be a victim. You can pray all day about, you know, your better and everything else. But if your mindset is that you are always a victim, everybody's against you. You will always be in lack. You will never have enough. You will never know enough. That is what you will get. You are calling that on yourself. You're calling that on yourself. Thanks for joining. You're calling that on yourself. The mindsets that I am seeing is it's sad and can i tell you that yeah i had a mindset i had a mindset that really stunted my growth that really kept me in a stagnated place okay i had the mindset of poverty i did i did but something happened on the inside of me and i decided you know what god I need you to change the way I think, change the way I think about money, opportunity, opportunity, uh, the way I change about, uh, think about finances, you know, the way I think about business, doing business, you know, okay, there's a lot of things that we need to change about our thinking before we can ever come into the thing that we are asking God for, expecting God for, praying for. If you have, let me tell you something. There are people that are making six figures and broke. And it's not, clearly it's not because they don't have the money. They have the money. Their mindset is what's messing up their money. Their six figures. There are people that are millionaires and they're broke. They have a mindset of being broke. So how long is the money going to last? Are they going to be good stewards of it? Are they going to know what to do with it? And a lot of us have this particular mindset. Thank you for joining. A lot of us have that uh, particular mindset because of family members, because of what generations before us did, because of what we've seen, because of our environment, because of our culture, because of our economic status. And the list goes on. But our mindset, we have to pray. Listen, pray and fast that mindsets are changed. Mindsets are in a better space, a better uh, place, you know, in a posture to receive what you have been praying and asking God for.